this video, we're going to increase your FPS by at least 200%. That's right guys, as long as it's a computer and not a toaster, you'll be able to increase your FPS by a minimum of 200% by the end of this video. To start, you might wonder why your FPS is capped at 60 and mine can go up to anything, and that's because I'm using a program called Roblox FPS Unlocker. It's absolutely free and lets you cap your FPS at anything you want, or you can go unlimited. We're going to start off with simple things to kill lag and even remove hitches, then move on to the more advanced stuff that you haven't heard of. So stick around and don't forget to subscribe after your FPS increases. Graphics quality is by far one of the most powerful options for increasing FPS. To change it, click the Roblox icon in the top left of any game, click settings, and go over to your graphics quality. Mine is usually on max, but if you want to change it, make sure it's not automatic, which is default, make sure it's on manual, and lower it down to 1. This will make stuff in the background disappear, this will decrease your render distance. Increasing this will make objects in the background reappear, but if you want more FPS, it's better to keep this on the low end. If you still want stuff in the background, you might have to drop some FPS in exchange for having those things in the background, but that's just a minor sacrifice. Another big change you could make are in-game settings. Most big games like Arsenal have in-game settings. Once you open up the menu, make sure you disable graphical things like kill effects, ragdolls, and shadows. Make sure you have all of these things off to increase your FPS, even particles. Particles are a big part in decreasing FPS. So once you have everything off, your FPS should increase, but don't worry, there are plenty of more things on the list. Changing your display resolution basically decreases the number of pixels on your screen. This means there's less stuff for your computer to do. To go ahead and do this, click display in Windows settings, scroll down to display resolution, and change it to 1600 by 900. You can also drop down to 1280 by 720 if that's not enough, but I recommend trying out 1600 first. Once you have this set, go ahead and click on keep changes, and you can try out Roblox. It's not too big of a jump compared to 1280 by 720, but if you do want to try it out, you can always go ahead and click it, and then go ahead and set it to 1280 by 720. This makes your screen a lot smaller, but you can always go ahead and change it back to default, and once you do that, just click on keep changes and you're back to normal. Even if you don't have a graphics card, your CPU most likely has integrated graphics. To make sure Roblox is running on a graphics card, scroll farther down to graphics, click on it, and once it loads up, go ahead and search for Roblox. Once you find it, go ahead and click on it, click options, and make sure it's set to high performance. Once you do that, go ahead and click save. After that, go ahead and click Change Default Graphics Settings up here. Once this opens up, make sure you turn on Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling. You will have to restart your PC, you can do that after you watch this video. The next thing you should do is make sure your computer knows that it's playing games. To do this, go ahead and click Gaming, Game Mode, and then turn on the Game Mode. This will optimize your PC by turning off unneeded things in the background while you're playing games and increase your FPS. The next thing you should do is deleting Roblox textures, or at least temporarily removing them. To do this, right click the Roblox app and click open file location. Once you have this open, go ahead and click on platform content, make sure you double click on it. Once you have that open, go ahead and double click on PC, and once you find the textures folder, just go ahead and drag it onto your desktop. Once it's on your desktop, go ahead and open up a Roblox game. Once you're in a game, you will notice that there are no textures, and this is because we just removed the textures folder from the Roblox folder. Basically what's happening is Roblox doesn't have to render those textures since they're not there anymore, and that increases your FPS. If you want to undo this, simply open up the file explorer again, go back to the same place we were, and drag the textures folder back in. This is why we didn't delete it and we just dragged it out. If anything in this video worked for you, let me know by leaving a like and subscribing, or even in the comments down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.